I have so many regrets in life. Those celebrities, athletes who get up and in these fancy interviews and say, I don't have any regrets. I'm glad all of life went the way it is. That's okay for them. But for me, I have regret. But the definition is a sense of sadness, repentance, disappointment over a situation. I have that in my life on multiple occasions. I look back and I look at how things ended at different seasons of my life. The end of jobs, the end of a friendship, the end of a uh, my time in ministry 15 years ago, the end of my marriage a couple years ago. All regrets, not necessarily that it ended, but how it ended. And so then what that tells me is I got a lot of opportunities for life lessons. Just because you regret something, you feel bad about something, you feel down, disappointed in something, it doesn't mean that it's gonna transform you or change you. You could just sit in that place of funkiness, right? But for me, I gotta go, well, I do feel that feeling about different things over the course of my life, and I could name all the different things that I regret, but I also can tell you what I learned from those situations. I learned that, hmm, all right, I need to be aware of how I'm feeling in all aspects of my life, I need to be honest with myself about how I'm feeling, and then I also probably need to be honest with the people that I'm working with, in relationship with, have friendships with, whatever it might be, because when I don't feel good about a situation and I bottle it up, I then tend to end things because it just becomes so overwhelming that it becomes kind of more like a fight or flight situation where it's like, yeah, okay, I'm done. So I recognize, hmm, that's a tendency in my life. That's not healthy. That's not good for anybody. So I want to do what that second part of the definition of, uh, re of uh, regret is. Definition is a sense of sadness, repentance, and uh, disappointment. So repentance, that's an old school word, right? Generally associated with Christianity. You gotta repent, be saved, right? But repent really just means to turn around, go the other direction, do the, the different thing. In this case, I go, okay, well, of the things that I regret in life, what would I do differently? Oftentimes it's not the fact that it ended, but how it ended, I mentioned that. So then I have to ask myself, all right, well, what do I need to do differently in these situations that come up? Well, I regret not being honest with myself about my feelings. I regret not having difficult conversations with people in my life. I regret not seeing my own worth or value. I regret not loving myself. I regret not taking bigger risks. I regret not seeing that anything is possible. I regret not banking on myself. Hmm, lots of regrets in there, so lots of life lessons. So when you think about your life, maybe you're like those athletes, those celebrities, and you don't have any regrets, you don't have any sadness over something that you did, said, could have done, would have done, should have done. I'm not saying you stay stuck in it. I'm just saying that you recognize, hmm, yeah, I would have did something differently there. So what would you have done? How would you have approached it differently? You've learned some of the things that I would um, do and that I am seeking to do in my own life, being honest about my own emotions, being honest with about people around me. And um, how about you? In your own life, in your regrets, what life lessons have you learned? You can share them with me if you want. I'm happy to listen.